I just woke up. It is currently 1.30 p.m. I slept for like three hours. A part of me wants to like stay here and just relax, but also a part of me is like, you're in Bangkok, enjoy and just walk around. So that's what I'm gonna do. My plan for right now is to go to a temple. It's called Sakit temple it's one of the most beautiful temples to see here in bangkok and then because it's a friday there's this famous like a weekend market to go to at night the guy that was next to me and the airplane he recommended me that for tonight so i might be doing those two i'm excited to just walk around also it's really hot and if i'm going to the temple i feel like i have to wear long sleeves and long shirts Let's see how it goes. I was trying to find my shoes, but then I remember that I left them outside. Oh god. I hope no one steals them. Yeah, no one no. Yeah, let's go. It's so freaking hot. And I'm over here wearing black clothes and leggings. But I don't have other choice. They want long sleeves. I don't know what to do. I still can't believe I'm here. Like I'm in Bangkok right now. What the no. Right now we're walking 30 minutes to the temple. We'll see what they say about the short sleeve. If not, I'm gonna buy like a little scarf or something. But so far, such a beautiful walk. There's so many motorcycles that pass through and I could get run over by one. Ooh, I found a temple. Also, there's so many temples, too many for Bangkok, that I don't think I will be able to do all of them in one day. Now I'm kind of regretting not bringing sunblock. I think I'm gonna get really sunburned. It's fine. I learned from my mistakes. Okay, we're almost at the temple. So many cars, so many motorcycles, so many tuk-tuks. We're gonna do this temple. It's the Golden Mount. We're gonna do 344 steps. Let's see how it goes. I honestly just found this online because there's so many temples to choose from. But if you at least do one, it's, it's pretty cool. Look at all these temples. One over there, two, three, four over there. That's the big Buddha right over there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there's so many. Guys, the weather is horrible. Like, I'm dying, but I'm pushing through. I'm also jet lagged, so I think that's why. This is so pretty. This is crazy. Wow, this is so cool. Look at this Buddha. It's so big. Thank you. So I got a lychee drink. It's like a lychee soda right after the temple. Let's try it and see if it's good. Oh my god, that's delicious. We're gonna go back to the hostel because it's really, really hot and then probably at six, we're gonna go to the market. We'll see. My first pad Thai in Thailand and it is delicious. Damn, this cafe is a vibe. I like this. I hope no one steals my shoes. I don't think so, right? Oh my god, I'm 
I'm so sorry. Thank God it's so cold in here. Dude, they weren't lying about Thailand being hot. What the hell am I thinking of wearing leggings? I am like soaked in sweat. I don't think I'm gonna go out tonight actually. I was. Other thing that I think that it's crazy, there's so many tourist people. I didn't even expect that many. So, so many. Like more than locals I feel like. Maybe it's because I'm in the city, but so many white people. Now I feel like I get the hype with Bangkok or Thailand. Like I know I've only been here one day, but like the food is amazing. I mean, I only ate Pad Thai today, but everyone is so kind, so nice to you. Even though you're a tourist and you don't know anything or the language, they're so sweet to you, so nice. Today they were super nice to me. They just were smiling and everything. And I just appreciate that so much because I know there's so many places where they hate tourists and they just hate that there's people that are ignorant or something like that. Basically, this is my last day in this hostel and then I'm gonna move to another one tomorrow and then tomorrow I'm doing like a full day tour at at the Tuya. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing. I'm gonna do that all day tomorrow and then the next day I'm finally gonna do a group tour with people my age. That was mainly why I came to Thailand not to be by myself. I'm kind of scared to be by myself here. Not really. Now that I see what it is in real life and me being here by myself it's not really that bad. Like I thought like it was unsafe. It's not. Like everyone's so nice to you and I love that so much. I kind of want to make friends you know. I'll see if I go out tonight I'm just gonna take a shower and relax cuz I'm really freaking tired good good morning everyone it is the next day I ended up not going out last night I slept like 10 hours last night this bed is so comfy <laughs> ended up staying in it is currently 6 a.m. and we are gonna get ready to go to a full tour today we have to change hostel so we're gonna do that before the tour. Let's get ready. So I just checked out of the clone hostel. Very nice, very sweet, everyone. We're gonna head to the next hostel. I'm already sweating and I just got outside, so we'll see how that goes. It's like a 20 minute walk. I might get a taxi, but I also wanna walk, but we'll see how, how it goes with the luggage. Okay, so we're walking to the hostel. I'm already sweating, but it's fine. But it's so nice to see like everyone opening the markets up. It's pretty early still. So I like to see all that. Okay, so it's been like 10 minutes. I don't know if this is a good idea because now my back is starting to hurt, but we're good. We're pushing through, we're pushing through. Kinda wanna do it, so let's keep going. Update, 10 more minutes to go. I am sweating, drenched. I think I'm gonna have to shower every single day because I get soaked, which is crazy. My back is killing me. But look at this, so beautiful. I switched to rolling because my back was killing me. We're almost there. Let's go. Hello. 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 Hi. I think we're here and we're literally right next to a temple, which is crazy. Oh, this is it. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It has a cafe and everything.
floating market in Ayutthaya. We did like a little boat ride and now they gave us like an hour lunch break. So we're gonna walk around and see what there is to eat because there's so many options. to try this the mango sticky rice I kind of want to try this yeah I'll try it. Uh, yes yeah I think we need to try the mango sticky rice that looks so good so we have the mango sticky rice but that it's really good so let's give it a try the mango sticky rice is delicious. It's basically mango rice and I think condensed milk or something to make it like sweet. I like it. Oh my god. I've never touched an elephant in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is crazy. Look at these elephants. Wow. Oh my gosh. Hi. You're so cute, you're so cute. I hope they don't torture them. I really don't. I mean, I'm not gonna ride one, but. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god, look at this, this is crazy, I can't believe it. <laughs> look at the baby elephant, oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> oh my, I go, <laughs> go for it, eat it all. Oh my gosh, I've never fed an elephant in my life, that's crazy. We are in Wat Pod right now. You can see the Buddha right over there. Wow. And you can see that one with the head in the tree when they were slicing the heads. That one got lost and the tree kind of hugged it within the years, which is kind of crazy. Which makes you believe kind of in Buddhism. Like, how is the tree hugging? The stone like that, that's so cool. There used to be one, two, three, four, five. There used to be six, but now there's three. Okay, so this is my first night out in Bangkok. I don't know if you guys remember, but if you saw my Brisbane vlog, I met a girl from Thailand in the hostel. We went to the koala sanctuary together and I cried. And we also touched kangaroos together. I'm gonna call you when I'm in Thailand. <laughs> I texted her and she's here in Bangkok. So she's gonna give me like a little tour on places to see and everything. And I'm glad I know someone. We're just gonna go out, have some drinks, and let's see how the nightlight is in Bangkok. Look at this, so beautiful. Also, I don't want to speak too early because this is my second day, but so far, being a woman in a country that I don't know that well, I feel pretty safe. I think Thailand is pretty safe. I haven't had any cat calls, I haven't had any scams. No one has treated me bad, no one has looked at me bad. So far, so good. Everyone is so nice. I love that with all this bar and club, there's like mas 
massages <laughs> that you can take. Like literally right yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. That's so crazy. Oh God. I don't know if you guys remember her. Video. <laughs> Kangaroos. Yes, it's like warm. Okay, you first. <laughs> very, very delicious. Okay. It tastes like what? Like protein? Like yeah. Okay. <laughs> it tastes more. It tastes like marusha. Uh, like ramen noodles. Dry? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know if I like it, but you don't like it? Um, I think I have to get used to the flavor. <laughs> um, do you want to try? Yeah. Do you like them? Okay, maybe I'm I'm dramatic. I think you should try that. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to try? I think you should try. Go for it. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> wow, look at you. Already making friends. I don't like that you're just like eating them. Like, what the hell?